Hey guys, what is up and welcome back. This is going to be just a uh, overview of the ISDT lineup and kind of a review of the product because I do have here the new Q6 Plus that I wanted to go over and show off. But I decided to go ahead and get deeper into their product line because I'm actually quite impressed with it and I'm just kind of going to go over with you why I've chosen these to basically be my main charger as well as my travel charger on the go so to start this off you guys have already seen the uh, smart charger from ISDT the SC608 150 watts I've been using that now for a few months and uh, I do have another video out you can check out I'll put it up here in the top of the uh, right there um, so you guys can uh, watch that also uh, I have here the parallel charging block from ISDT, uh, full aluminum block thing is uh, pretty uh, cool. And uh, I also have the ISDT uh, charging AC uh, adapter now, 160 watts. So if you do watch the other video I just mentioned about this, it shows me making a, uh, a charging block out of a laptop charger. And uh, that was only 90 watts and maybe 5 amps at max. This is 160 watts at 6 amps, and uh, it's safer, and it is made for the unit, so definitely check that out. Uh, so let's go ahead and let's dig deeper into this and go over why I why I use this. Now, um, I'm going to go and power them on for you. One moment here. All right, so now that I got it all powered up, I'm using my power brick for this one, and the actual ISDT power brick that I uh, purchased for the Q6. Now what we're going to do here is mainly probably focus on the differences and on the new Q6 because that's uh, what everyone wants to see I assume since the uh, 608 has been out on the market for a while. So let's go over this first. So this is again the Q6 plus 300 watt 14 amps. So if you are parallel charging and you want to get more than you know four, this guy can do it. Um, also in the box, it did come with adapters now. So it did come with your normal XT60s and uh, caps so you can snap it together instead of having to use heat shrink. And that's actually pretty awesome because the 608 did not come with that. And this allows you to make cables, adapters, um, and all kinds of other ways to fit different types of charging leads for this product and they didn't have to provide that and that's awesome so kudos on them I'm assuming they listened to people when they couldn't figure out what to do with the 608 and why it didn't come with any cables then um, we have here the ISDT 160 watt uh, power brick and this came with the cable that connects it to either one of these um, it also came with its own uh, wall power cable so that was in that box and the ISDT parallel adapter comes with your main cable here and then your balance uh, lead cable so that's everything that comes in the box for each one of these products now let's kinda go over what we got here so on the main menu they actually look relatively the same and this one uses your side scroll wheel this one uses a, a wheel right here in the front so we scroll down see here again this shows 19.6 is what I'm getting out of my laptop at 25 Celsius is the temperature of the actual unit itself while this one's getting 27 out of this in volts and it's only at 22 celsius so this actually runs a little cooler as well which is pretty awesome if we uh, press the buttons down again here we have a very similar menu this one the labeling is a little different for example it says task this one says select task but if you go in here you have charge discharge and storage and on this one you have the same thing charge discharge and storage so and uh, if we go down to the batteries once again you can see here 
you're going to have all the same types. This one is actually kind of nice, so it does label off your uh, different voltages for those particular types of batteries. Um, this one does not, but again, common sense says if you're charging a LiPo, select LiPo. Alright, uh, you do have your cell count, which it, both of these will auto detect when you plug a battery in, but you could also change it as well as your current that you want to charge at. All right, and then this one has start task, this one has start. Uh, if we scroll past that, that is the end of the menu. All right, so let's go ahead and throw a battery on there so you can see what that looks like. So we're gonna go ahead and go back. And I have a battery I actually do need to charge. So if we just plug it in to this parallel block, which you could charge one off here. I usually leave this parallel block connected, so I find myself uh, charging one, and then if they're all within the same voltage, I'll charge more than one. So as you can see here, it picked up the battery voltage at 3.75 per cell. Again, if we press down, and it knows it is a uh, 4S and charge this usually at 1 amp for a single one. You can go, you know, 1.3 if you wanted. I do, I do that if I'm trying to speed up the process just a little bit, but it's not really a big difference. And then it's as easy as just saying start task. You'll see the screen change and everything is really color coded. So, you know, it's gray when nothing's plugged in. It changes to um, orange when you're charging, changes the blue, actually changes the green when it's done fast charging and then goes into a quick smart charge to balance out the uh, cells and then it will go into a blue when it's fully complete. Um, so that pretty much sums it up. It's really easy to use. Um, both of them have very similar firmware. So you're asking yourself, you know, which one should I buy? That really comes down to really what are you trying to do with it as far as a powerhouse because there is one more that is actually larger than this i think it's 500 watts don't quote me because i'm not looking at anything right now but that one might be good for a house charger while these ones might be good for traveling but i find myself 300 watts 14 amps you know parallel board i have roughly mm, 12 batteries i will do four at a time because the chances that i'm going to have more than four at the same voltage to safely parallel charge them is pretty rare they're close but never perfect so you know doing four at a time is fine for me and then I'll use this one to like knock out my fat shark or my uh, Tranus lipo or... all right well that pretty much sums it up it's just a quick and dirty overview I wanted to give you kind of a review again like I said earlier um, there really isn't too much more to say about them other than that they are quality I do use them every day I do enjoy them and I can suggest it there is other products out there that are cheaper that can get the job done as well but when it comes to a compact size and a very easy to use menu and interface I would say they win and uh, if you have any questions definitely leave some comments I'll be happy to answer them I do read everything and also I will leave these these product links in the description below uh, I'll figure out what site may have the best pricing if I have a chance and link that. If not, I'll just uh, get information directly from their website for you. So make sure if you guys enjoyed this type of overview of products that I use on a day-to-day -day basis to go ahead and like this video, subscribe, and share it please because I do enjoy to share information that I believe in and products that I trust and use. So uh, help me get the word out there. Thank you.